Hi, this is Janice Seagraves. Um, I want to film a little bit of my garden in just a little bit. I'm having to do it with this camera and my son was not helping me today. So you'll see me again, or at least hear my voice in just a little bit. <music> This is uh, my garden. You see the uh, bell peppers in the back. And right here is my habaneros in the front. They're doing really good. They're, they're from a six pack. And I managed to uh, get them going and they're doing just fine. And you see there's some onions that's put in between and then I'm having them braced up. Not only does this help them to stay grow up steadily, but it also keeps the cats out, which I've been having a lot of problems with over the, the years that we've moved in here, which is about five years ago. And this is my wildflower mix that I put in this pot and it's they're coming up very nicely too. Let me scoot around this thing. This is a uh, tomato plant, and I, I planted this a couple weeks ago. It's doing just fine. As you can see, it's getting nice and tall. And then over here is my other tomato plant, and it is doing really good, too. In fact, look down there, you can see some blooms coming up. Let me see if I can get a better shot of them. See? See the blooms? That once that's for pollinated, I will have tomatoes. Now back over here is supposed to be my carrots, but you can't really tell anything because the weeds have come up too. Now though, back here, this is really interesting. You see the, these are peas, and the one on the left was just a regular garden variety pea from a little package. But the one on the right, now that one was special. It was covered with some kind of hot pink clay like substance and I planted them at the same time but the one on the right came out came up first they seem to be hardier and stronger and they're doing and you can see they've doubled in size compared to the ones on the left so I'm gonna have to see how the, when they're going to put on a bloom and uh, how their uh, those peas are going to come out now Please ignore that uh, squawk in the background. That's actually my neighbor's parrot and chicken. Okay. Down here, I have some cantaloupe planted in some holes. Now, the reason why I planted it in holes is this is an arid area. This is, I live in the Central Valley of California. And I planted some, uh, planted them in the holes so that the water will stay put and won't run off. And, um, and they'll stay wet longer. Over here, I think if you look right down that hole, you can see something coming up there. I think that's my first melon. So we'll see. And it's uh, my horsetail. Had that thing for years and years and years. I think I've had that for 10 years. We moved it from the old house. This is, I believe, citrus cella. It keeps away mosquitoes. And this is a type of blooming plant I got from a, a little start from the front yard. Can't remember what it's called though. And that's a mint. And there's another mint. And this one, I know this is a spearmint right here, and they're doing really, really well. This is our second season with them. And this is rosemary, and beside it is a blackberry and another blackberry. And now, this is our second season with them, and they have doubled or tripled in size. And I put them on these trellises, which uh, they'll hopefully put on some blooms this year. Maybe we'll get some uh, berries, which would be nice. This is uh, one of my daughter's plants. I can't think what it's called, though. And then down here are some sprouts from some more wildflowers and this is a potato let me get around this too there's another potato 
And another pair of tails just coming up. That one's going to be a blue. This one I think is a red. I think that's another red that's just coming up. But uh, I've got some, I think, blues down in there too. Now I got these bags that I'm rolling them in from Amazon. They're supposed to be good for sprouting potatoes. So, And I did get uh, a very small harvest. It wasn't very much. Just a few small potatoes. And they're pretty good. Now up here I have some um, some flowers because you have to have something pretty in your garden. And I don't have anything over here yet, but I plan on putting some other things in there soon. Now over here, if I just get up in it. This is my uh, greenhouse I, that I got off of Amazon. And yes, I, I do buy a lot of things from Amazon. And these are my succulents. And uh, this one over here are my, um, what is it called? Um, but anyway, they're doing really well. And this one right here are some that I'm trying to get started. You just lay a, a leaf on the, your potting soil and they will just automatically root. So you don't really have to do anything special at all to get a succulent to grow for you. Okay, that's another one. And uh, this one at the far end, my daughter brought to me from one of her friends that had moved. And there's some more plants. And then this down here, you can see that. Um, the one on the left is a jade, and the other ones are just little sprouts from um, little broken pieces from the other plants. This one I actually got started from those little dollar discount uh, succulents they sell at Home Depot and Lowe's. So I got them and put them in there. And this one was a gift from my husband because it has a little fairy in the front. I thought it was cute. Now the plant next to it... I found behind the houses on a walk, they had cut, chopped off the roots and just threw it back there with the trash. And I picked it up and my son-in-law who was with me said, can you save it? And I said, yeah, I think I can. And the thing about succulents is they're amazing plants. You, it's kind of hard to kill them because they just keep thriving. The only, their worst enemy is just not being uh, watered or not are watered too much because you can water too much that will kill them faster than anything but this thing I put it in this plant it had no roots and now it has roots it's just been in there since um, last uh, last fall and it's got really nice roots it's holding it in and it's doing just fine this is uh, the length of my garden I hope you uh, enjoyed my view of my garden and uh, me talking about it. And you know we're going through a difficult time right now, and it might be a good idea to you know invest in our background backyards and and produce some produce so to help us with our food supply because we might not have much of a food supply come um, the summertime. So it might help if we did this. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.